Hey guys, this is a video in my MATLAB tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to differentiate functions using MATLAB. I'm also going to show you how you can find higher order derivatives, uh, meaning second derivative, third derivative, and so on. I'm also going to demonstrate how you can evaluate the derivative at a particular point. In this video, we're just going to do everything in the command window. At the end, I'll briefly show a script uh, that will take inputs and give you the general derivative or the derivative evaluated at a particular point. We will discuss the features used in that script in future videos. Without further ado, let's get to it. Let's start by finding the derivative of sine of x. In order to do that, we must define the symbolic variable. I'm going to type in symsx. x. Uh, now I've let MATLAB know that x is the symbolic variable. Then I'm going to assign f to be the function to be differentiated. So f equals sine of x, and I'm going to suppress that with a semicolon. So now f is defined to be sine of x. Then I'm going to uh, assign the variable name der to diff of f comma x. So der is just the name that's assigned to this. Diff is a built-in MATLAB function that differentiates uh, the argument. So here it's going to differentiate f, which is just sine of x. And this comma x right here is telling MATLAB that it needs to differentiate with respect to x. So if I just press enter, it will give me that the derivative is equal to cosine of x. Notice that if I do der is equal to diff of f, I get the exact same answer. And that's because the symbolic variable is already defined. So MATLAB knows that sine of x needs to be differentiated with respect to x. You don't have to tell it again. So uh, since there's only one symbolic variable, it's just sufficient to do diff of f. If you want higher order derivatives of the function, you can do that quite easily. I'm going to find the second derivative of sine of x. The first derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. The derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. Thus, the second derivative of sine of x should be negative uh, sine of x. Once again, I'm going to say der is equal to diff of f. And this time I'm going to type in a comma. I'm going to type in two, close off the parentheses and press enter. And I get der is equal to negative sine of x. So as you may have already figured out, this two right here is, uh, is telling MATLAB what the order of the derivative is. So I need the second derivative. That's why I typed in two. If I want the third derivative, I can do that similarly, say diff f comma three, and that will give me the third derivative. So whatever the order of the derivative is that you want, you can just type that in. You can also replace f with whatever function you, uh, you need to derive. So let's say uh, f is equal to exp x squared. Exp is, this, is the same as saying e to the power of. So this is just, e to the power of x squared. So if I uh, suppress that with a semicolon and press enter, I can do uh, der is equal to diff f comma uh, two, if I want the second derivative. Actually, let's just do the first derivative. And if you're doing the first derivative, you don't need to identify uh, the order of the derivative. It will automatically give you the first derivative. So here we get uh, the derivative of e to the power of x squared. Alternatively, you can directly type in the function to be derived inside the diff command. Let's say we want to derive sine of x uh, and we want to find the second derivative of sine of x. So we can just do this like, like this. Der is equal to diff sine of x comma two. And then make sure you close off all parentheses. So we have der is equal to diff sine of x and then sec uh, the second derivative of sine. Press enter and we get a negative sine of x. Now let's say you want to evaluate the function at a certain value. In other words, you're interested in finding the slope of the original function at a particular point. So you need to evaluate the derivative at that x value. So let's say, let's clear all of this out actually. So, so I ms x, now let's just start from 
the beginning. So der is equal to diff uh, sine of x comma three. So we're finding the third derivative of sine. And let's say we're going to evaluate that at uh, zero. So if we try to do der of uh, zero, you'll notice that I'll get an error. And that's because der is just a variable name. It's, it's not a function. This right here doesn't uh, translate to a function. In order to get around that, one way to do it would be to use the inline command. So we can say der is equal to inline diff sine of x comma three. Okay. And I'll get that the answer is negative cosine of x, but the inline function, uh, but, the, but the inline command makes this a function. So der is a function of x. So if I just do der of zero, it will evaluate the answer negative cosine of x at x equals zero. So I'll get uh, uh, the derivative, the third derivative evaluated at x equals zero. And alternatively, you could use uh, the MATLAB function, which is uh, der equals MATLAB MATLAB and capital F for, for function. And then diff sine of X, just like before, and then close off all parentheses and then run it. And this time it's gonna tell you that it's a function of X. So that's why this first part is telling you. And then negative cosine of X is your actual answer. And then you can do DER of zero to evaluate your third derivative at X equals zero, and you'll get to the exact same answer. You can choose which one to use. Both of them should be fine for these simple uh, derivatives. As I mentioned in the introduction, I'm going to show a script that I wrote that takes inputs when you run it saving you the trouble of having to type out everything every single time. Many of the commands used in the script, I will cover in later videos in the series. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. I just wanted to show you the script in case any of you guys are interested. So here's the script I wrote. Uh, so here's the script I wrote. Perhaps it could be made more efficient. However, I checked earlier and everything works. So let's run the script first before we discuss what's going on. And let's clear everything in the command window and in the workspace. So clear CLC and let's run this. So first you'll notice that a dialog box pops up and it asks me if I want a general derivative or if I want something to be evaluated if I want the derivative to be evaluated at a point, I'm first going to do general, and then it's going to prompt me to type in the function that needs to be derived. So sine of X and the order of the derivatives. So I want the first derivative. So I'm just going to type in one and it'll give me the derivative. Okay, let's clear this CLC. Now let's try that again, but this time we're going to evaluate it at a particular point. So it's going to once again, ask me to type in the function to, to be derived. So sine of X and then order of derivative. Once again, I'll do one. This time it will give me uh, what, what the derivative is, but it will also ask me to enter the X value at which I can uh, evaluate the derivative. So I'll type in zero and I get that, uh, that the, uh, the, the, the derivative of sine of X evaluated at X equals zero is equal to one and cosine of zero is uh, one. Now let's actually go over the script. Like I said, some of the commands and the functions in this script will be covered in uh, future videos, uh, but let's, let's just talk it all over briefly. So first the script defines the system uh, at uh, the symbolic variable is X and then this menu option here, this menu command is what prompted the dialog box and asked me whether I wanted a general derivative or if I wanted to evaluate it at a particular point. And then I uh, was also prompted 
to type in the function that needed to be derived. And then also another input uh, for uh, the order of the derivative. And then I use the if or else to go with these. Uh, so if you had chosen uh, uh, general, then this is what uh, the script does. And if you had chosen actually anything else, which in this case, your only other option is to evaluate it at a point, uh, MATLAB would do this and then it would end the command. Uh, it would end the script. So, um, uh, so that's what MATLAB was doing. There you have it. I hope this video helps in some way. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the MATLAB tutorial series, as well as the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. I hope all of you are staying healthy and safe. Until next time, take care, guys.